Overnight, Ukraine attacked Jankoy Air Base and occupied Crimea. Strong fires and secondary explosions, presumably from munition and missiles cooking off, were reported. This attack was a big one. A large fire started afterwards. Even five hours after the attack, secondary explosions continue to be heard. The roads to Jankoy itself are blocked by the authorities. We know that Russian attack helicopters are based here as well as S-300, S-400 missile launchers. Russian military blogger Rybar claims that Ukraine hit the Jankoy Air Base with 12 ATACMS missiles, likely launched from Kherson in two waves, one of seven and one of five. He reports damage to equipment at the airbase as well as damage to buildings. This is an image of the consequences of the attack on Jankoy Air Base. The damage inflicted was huge. Three S-400 launchers, some claim even five, and a radar were destroyed. Also, two S-300 launchers and anti-aircraft missiles as well as Russian personnel were hit and destroyed or killed. Dozens of servicemen went missing. Ukrainian Secret Service HUR press officer Yusov on the Jankoy airfield attack. This is truly an important, large-scale operation of the Ukrainian armed forces yesterday. There is now more detailed information on the strikes. Today it will be officially unveiled. Yes, there are launchers of anti-missile and air defense systems. There are destroyed radar systems. There is information about damaged aircraft and personnel. All information will be made public a little later today. This is a serious harvest and a successful operation of the Ukrainian armed forces, Yusov said. President Zelensky thanks the Ukrainian armed forces for the successful military operation against the occupier equipment at Jankoy Airfield, Crimea. Окупант повинен втрачати, і кожна їхня втрата – це сила України. But Ukraine didn't stop there. Another big target was the Tupolev bomber factory in Kazan, which was subject to strikes from drones. It is not yet clear what damage was inflicted to this factory at first glance. Powerful explosions were observed this evening in the sky over Belgorod. Locals initially mistook this for an attack on Kharkiv. Pro-Russian channels claim that the city was allegedly fired at by vampire MLRS systems. Они сбивают, ебать! Не такой. Слушай, раз, два, три, четыре! Пошла жара. А там? Пять, блядь, вон салют, ебать, блядь, со всей стороны. Вон. Что это, она когда сбить сбивает такая? Ну да, наверное. Ебать! Ебать! In Russia, a Mi-8 helicopter was destroyed at the Kriaj airfield in the city of Samara, the GUR reports. And on the battlefields, destruction of a Russian thermobaric TOS-1, a MLRS system in the vicinity of Krasnohorivka. In Voronezh, 
explosions rang out by the end of the day. Reportedly, a military unit and oil depot close to it was hit. It is interesting that the jet drones were completely missed by the Russian air defense and were not even detected by the radars, since no alarm was announced. In the meantime, Shoigu is acting as if nothing is happening. Russians are trying to project an image of greatness and invincibility, yet they are essentially just a vast gas station with reserves from the Soviet Union and nuclear weapons for global blackmail. Their military has failed miserably in Ukraine on all fronts. For over two years, Ukraine has managed to fend off their invasion and deliver deadly blows to confused Russian columns. To make matters worse, NATO is not directly involved in the conflict, as Russian propaganda claims, but Ukrainian forces are supported by limited NATO and U.S. assistance with weapons and equipment given on a spoon. Even this limited support is given cautiously to avoid provoking Russia. Yet it's still enough to defeat the disorganized and corrupt Russian military machine. Russian Ministry of Defense video of Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and Deputy Defense Minister Alexei Krivoruchko inspecting a variety of equipment at the Patriot Exhibition Center, including UGVs, light tactical vehicles, an ATV with a 120mm mortar, and an artillery fire control system. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.